Well, a lot of people won't like this. Let's begin. The article says that fag smokers are facing the biggest ever rise in the price of a packet of fags next month as the government unleashes another salvo in the war on tobacco. According to The Sun, industry experts expect Chancellor Jeremy Hunt to deliver a major blow to smokers as he prepares to raise tobacco taxes in line with soaring inflation in the March the 15th budget. The increase could see a packet of 20 cigarettes leap by more than 15%, a rise of £1.15 with a 30 gram pouch of hand rolling tobacco rising by £2 overall. Even the action on smoking and health group urged Mr Hunt to increase the duty by 5.4% in line with earnings rather than rampant inflation, amid fears of a sharp rise would benefit the black market which is already believed to have cost the Treasury more than £51 billion in lost taxes. Now yes, OK, obviously £1.15 may not sound like a lot, but it will soon add up, won't it? Especially with the cost of everything else going up at the moment as well. It just makes me think that every year they see this as an opportunity to grab more money in to their coffers so they can do whatever they want with it, it seems. But that is a very good point about the black market, isn't it? I mean, to be honest with you, if a health organisation is recommending that Jeremy Hunt doesn't increase the cost of a packet by as much as 15%, then that's got to be saying something, hasn't it? And if that does happen, then the government, in theory, might not get as much as they would have done by not raising the levels by that much. But no, of course, they won't think about that, will they? They will see this as doing their bit to stop people smoking by 2030 or something like that. And don't get me wrong, while yes, OK, smoking is bad for your health, and I myself don't smoke, I do respect people's rights to smoke, and they should be able to smoke if they want to, and not appear to be penalised for it by such a steep percentage rise, which makes me wonder if smoking is going to go up by 15 odd percent what's going to happen to petrol i mean yes there has been rumors that it's going to go up by 12 percent but hopefully that won't because it's bound to affect a whole load more people isn't it and also how much will alcohol go up by although if they do want to raise prices by that much then i've thought of a really good way they could spend the money they could actually cut the tax on petrol altogether or actually maybe cut the tax on alcohol instead so we can all have a nice friday or saturday night but to be honest i don't think there's much chance of that happening either according to the office for budget responsibility the rate on cigarettes is 16 0.5% of the retail price plus £5.26 on a pack of 20. The rate on cigars is £3.28 for a 10 gram item. Hand rolling tobacco is £9.07 for a 30 gram pouch and other smoking and chewing tobacco is £4.32 for a 30 gram packet. The government's aim is to make Britain smoke free by 2030, meaning that fewer than 5% of adults enjoy a puff. Benjamin Ilk's operation manager of the Taxpayers Alliance said smokers already pay vast sums to the Treasury, adding tobacco taxes are high enough without yet another damaging increase. The government should freeze tobacco duty. Well, you know, maybe the government wants to bring in the extra rise to pay for the people in this video, which, are, to be honest, I'm sure we could all do without especially after what they've been doing. Anyway, subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.